Welcome back, Mongo Fix! Yeah, gonna try out the new ramps today. Well, you folks ready for a story? The loner was doing what the loner does best. Getting used. Get the call that she quit, so go down, pick her up and whatnot. Story goes while driving down the road, like 60, 70-ish, all of a sudden it bogged down real bad. Check engine lights started flashing. All bad things, you know, so Kevin pulled to the side of the road. Shut her down, call Mongo. Yeah, Mongo, come pick you up. Mongo did a little short, you know, what to do when your check engine light starts flashing, gave an example, revved the engine a bit. Mongo looked out back, and outside the exhaust pipe was some cat material. The old Honda's just puking up cats. No big deal there. Just want to mention, you know, this is not an electric car. But it's so green, it's got algaes growing on it. It's probably the greenest car out there, really, because the plants grow on the car. After doing that, Mongo buddy come over, scan the car for code P0137-0325. Zero three zero one zero three zero two zero three zero four zero three zero five zero three zero 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 three zero six zero three zero three basically it's all the o2 sensors and all the cylinder misfires uh yeah it's, it's bad clear the codes and only one came back two one nine seven Another O2 sensor code. Long story short, no matter what, she's gonna need some kitty cats. This little V6 engine got two cats, and they mount. One's there. That's for the one bank. They are cat on head, so the exhaust manifold is part of the cylinder head, and the cat bolts right to the head. And there's another one way back down there. Down here, got the exhaust flex pipe, and we got the Y pipe, and if we follow this around, this is the front cat. And there's no longer a nut on there. It's supposed to be a nut on there. It's, uh, you know, gone. And if we followed us around to the other side, there's no nuts there either. Or there was, and they're just crumbling. Not really sure how this exhaust hanging on. But don't you worry, the back's worse. That nut's all gone. And you can even see light through it, like, like there's a big hole there. There's the other side. They gone too. Yeah, that one's just sitting there. The proper way to get the rear cat out, you gotta take the exhaust down, take the half shaft out, and then the little kitty cat will unbolt from the head and it'll slide down the bottom here. There's no way that front cat comes down the bottom. It's supposed to drain the coolant out of the radiator, pull the radiator out, and then that cat will come out the top. So here's the little secret. You don't need cats for an engine to run. They burn off the extra fuel from the combustion chamber that didn't get burned. And they burn hot enough to help get rid of some of the other emissions that come out the tailpipe. They are not required for an engine to run. If you got clogged cats like this scenario, right? Idea, maybe both, we don't know yet, but if one of these cats is clogged, then the engine runs unbalanced, and that's not good for an engine. It causes all sorts of problems like misfires because the air is not flowing through the engine properly. And an engine is nothing more than an air pump. That's all an engine does. Pumps air. So Mongo's going to undo the exhaust, bring the Y pipe down, and make sure both the cats are even. And boy, those are tight. Oh, it's got some holes in it. Yeah, I think that one's seen better days. Well, now we just gotta see about chiseling away this uh, remnants of this front nuts. Let's take a look at our front cat. Maybe slight clog, but that's pretty good. Mongo wouldn't be worried about that little kitty cat.
Meow. Let's take a look at our back, kitty. Yeah, that's a clogged kitty. The rear one's all messed up looking. That's pretty cool. Big question though, did the bad cat cause the misfire or did the misfire cause the bad cat? Just a little quick checking online because obviously we need one cat. The other one's probably close behind. So really we need two cats. And looking online, two cats for this uh, Honda ranges between 300 bucks total all the way up to almost $2,000 for both the cats. That just outrageous to Mongo. The reason they're so expensive is this material. So this is part of the honeycomb, they call it, inside the catalytic converter. And it's full of precious metals. Gold, platinum, palladium, rhodium, all sorts of stuff. The dust is actually really harmful to humans. You know, it'll give you some pretty severe heavy metal poisoning. Be sure, you know, if you're around this dust, be sure to wear a good face mask. When a catalytic converter actually starts to die, the material melts. It starts clogging up these very tiny holes that go all the way through. These very tiny honeycombs. When they get clogged up with the melted material, then the airflow through the engine, through the exhaust, is not very good. So to get the engine running properly again, you have to balance out the catalytic converters on each side, so that way the airflow through them is the same. So, you know. Well, this is all the material from the one busted cat. A whole bunch of shinies in there. And a bunch of fibrous, yeah, it looks like insulation. <laughs> just running here check engine light flashing there ain't nothing in the cats to get wrecked so that's probably not a good thing a lot of blue smoke coming out the exhaust yeah that exhaust smell really oily Bob Mongo's pretty positive this old girl's gonna pop that might make a good video unfortunately Mongo's not gonna put any more into her well if you like this video be sure to like this video. Yeah, if you like this video and other videos from Mongo Fix, be sure to subscribe. Mongo's always working on all sorts of stuff. And be sure to stay tuned to Mongo Fix. Gonna figure out something to do with this thing. Maybe engine swap, maybe not, maybe part it out, maybe make something goofy. Been in Mongo's life a real long time. You know, owned it twice actually. Mongo, thank you.